What is up guys, welcome to the video. Um, the audio sounds a bit boxy, probably I have no clue because I'm in my apartment in Paris. The sun is not shining. Um, yeah, I've been here since end of, close to the end of September on a, on a work training uh, mission thing. And um, it's been fun, it's been fun. The very big downside is I couldn't do any fishing and hunting. Um, and it is quite cold outside, it's four degrees. But anyway, today I'm gonna do a little bit of a different video. It does contain hunting, as you would have seen from the thumbnail, which is good. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a top 10 video. So uh, I don't know how it's gonna go. I planned it out a bit with a little slip. Most planning I've ever put in a video is a little slip. And uh, I'm gonna see how this plans out, bear with me. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. So for number 10, it's, this is top 10 best bow hunting videos. Is it just bow hunting? Indeed it is. It's just bow hunting. Top 10 best bow hunting videos. So in number 10, we have my first ever animal bow. This, as you guys would remember, is uh, if you watch the video and the short actually went live today, it's Sunday the 4th of December. Um, it was an Impala Ram that I shot with my bow at 40 yards against the slide up hill. So it was quite a quite a cool shot. Um, they didn't know how brave I actually was. I would not take a shot at the Impala at 40 yards now. Um, but yeah, I threaded through a bunch of leaves. So that was pretty cool. I only realized that in the camera afterwards. But anyway, that was number 10. Um, yeah, let me put in the clip and I'll see you guys again for number nine. Second, second one on the list, well number nine, would be my PV Impala. I'm out here on the streets at a beautiful little church. Look, look. Yeah, so that's my, my PV Impala would be my next one. That's number nine on the list. Quite a nerve-wracking day. I wounded an animal in the morning which made me feel very bad. Oh, there's a camera. I should look there. And uh, the shot was high on this one, but with the small tennis with me at Ochibamba, it was quite an excellent experience and um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little clip. I hope you guys enjoyed number 10 and uh, follow along uh, as we go around the list. This is the second location. By the way, it's two degrees outside. So it's very cold. Hij is er ook. Wie aan als ik je niet heb? Tot vijf en twintig. Katina's just found him. I was busy searching for bloody. Wait. That's okay, Joe. That's okay. Yes! Woo! Ramers. Tina's here. I see now. But it's not bad. Yet that. I'm going to. Yo. Well done. Yes, Joe. Yes, yes. Thank you for the. Pretty help.
Hey guys, so you guys will remember this a bit better. I am officially back in SA. Um, I'm at home. I got in. Sorry, I got in uh, yesterday, which was a Sunday. Today's Monday. And um, yeah, I wanted to do the rest of the video in cool places in France or in Paris where I was. But um, I'm going to stop looking at myself and look at the camera. Um, but I unfortunately got sick, which... Uh, kind of sucks so number eight i'm taking this from this is number eight that's next um i know there's going to be some next ones that are from paris because i forgot to take number eight but number eight um was supposed to be at the notre dame so here's a photo of the notre dame And then, uh, yeah, number eight is my Nyala hunt. So, uh, I don't have much kill shot footage of this because uh, it was my first ever um, hunt with something else than a rifle. It's been the first time I went hunting since I shot my first animal. Uh, whole, it's a, it was an amazing story. It's essentially what got me into this whole hunting and everything again. Um, super expensive <laughs> mistake after just budgeting for an Impala. But, uh, yeah, enjoy. Take a video of it. So today, I'm in Bordeaux, and so the video, the video for today, number seven, is the zebra hunt I was on. The zebra hunt I was on, it's a bit windy, so I hope you guys can hear me, but uh, it's that zebra hunt I went on. It uh, goes with that thing, it was quite a good one, it was quite a story. Um, it's minus two here, so it's super cold. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the zebra hunt, number seven. I'm walking through Bordeaux, I'll uh, announce the next one probably when I get to another cool spot in Bordeaux.
hope you guys enjoyed the zebra one um, I'm now at a new location where I'm at now is this one uh, I don't know what it is I'm supposed to look at the camera not on my screen there we go it's some kind of water mirror there's a gigantic rover behind me by the way um, some kind of water mirror but I'm yet to figure out where the mirror is my mouth is a bit dying because it's minus two um, but yeah number six then is uh, another first it's my brother's Valibia's hunt, which is his first animal with the bow. Um, yeah, it was quite cool. I got a cool angle on it sitting in the tree across from him, which is great. I hope the audio is good, by the way. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, I'll take you to a clip where it's a bit warmer than where I'm at currently. Update before I show you guys the hunt. I'm stupid. The water mirror, I'm physically standing on it. There's just no water because it's winter and it's minus two. So... Just an update before I let you guys watch the Villa Bears hunt. Say. Yeah. <laughs> I see no. I see no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop now, you book too. Here we go. Your first, very first bow kill. It's a ball. It's a ball. Okay. Sorry. It's fine. I'm happy with you. How are you, Petit? Very good. How are you? How are you? How are you? The fifth and final one I'm going to do from Bordeaux. I'm at St. Andre's... There we go. <laughs> St. Andre's Cathedral. Um, a beautiful place, I must say. France is pretty much dope. Yeah. So number five, if I remember correctly, is Leon's Warthog. Um, yeah, it's not his first animal with the crossbow. I think his first animal was the Impala, but uh, the Warthog was a giant. The it was either the second one or the first one. I can't really choose between the two. Maybe I'll show both. Who knows? Um, or make one honorable mention. But anyway. Um, yeah, so enjoy. Number five. Here we go, we're halfway. My first pig with the crossbow, uh, it ran pretty far. Uh, Hilux, hey, Hilux uh, got it, at least he was here, and uh, yeah, up on my first pig. Here we go.
so for number five i'm driving around in a car, little car um, in disneyland and uh, it's limited so i'm allowed to drive um, but yeah number five is my personal best war talk uh, i hope you guys enjoy i'm just enjoying disneyland in minus two roller coasters are freezing and uh, yeah number five is my personal best war talk i absolutely freaked out it was an excellent an excellent shot and uh, yeah enjoy Goodness me. Quite Guys, so there we go. Okay, I think, uh, what did I say? Number three now. Yes. I'm a, no, I, I have to check again. <laughs> After a quick check on my notes, I'm at number three. I hope you guys enjoyed number four, which was uh, my PB Warthog. It was excellent. Now for number three, moving on next is to risk as uh, PB Impala and first Impala with the bow. And as a view, we have this, the castle at Disneyland. So yeah, we've been here the whole day. The sun's only come out now, so it's been cold as heck. But yeah, look. Can I turn my camera on? No, that's a photo. Quite busy here today. Anyway, enjoy that clip and I'll see you guys for number two and number one. We're gonna be in different locations again, so yeah. Hand op, hand op, hand op. Hand op, hand op. Weet je, ik denk dat mijn zetter geschiet.
Nou kan ik zo. Mooi zijn wel dan Ja, Still in the same spot, so I hope you enjoyed um, number eight. Well, actually, you guys just watched number three, which was I took it away. Let me see where I took it. I think I took it somewhere in Disneyland. Um, so yeah, flashback. I'm back in it. Anyway, number two is actually one of my more recent hunts. Um, it's super cool, super cool animal. It's a, in fact none other than my PB. Uh, blue wildebeest. Uh, it was a gigantic wildebeest measuring just under 30 inches. Roland Award is 28 and something. I'm probably going to have it measured when it comes back from the taxidermy. Um, it's going to have dried so I'm, I know it's going to be, a, or I hope it's going to be above, it's probably going to be above 28 because it was far enough above 28 the first time around. So I doubt it would have lost that uh, many inches. Um, <laughs> that's what she said. Anyway, um, but uh, yeah, it was it was a spectacular hunt. That whole trip, Kransberg 2022, was amazing. Honestly, it was a really a, an amazing trip, and uh, Kransberg never ceases to amaze me. It's an amazing place. There was a ton of animals coming in the whole time, and um, yeah, this villabeers came in. You could see the width of him on the on his shadow on the ground when he was walking in. Even so, it was really spectacular. Anyway, that's number two, and here is the footage from it. Yes, we are going to put this kit on. We are going to put this to put this kit on. We are going to put this kit on. We are going to put this kit on. We are going to put this This is my third third animal with the back tension. My biggest uh, villa beast ever. My first bull, and what a nice bull to take. Almost 30 inches. Roland Ward's 28 inches, and he's got a gigantic body on him as well. So uh, very happy. <laughs> Okay guys, so that was the top 9 of my top 10 hunts with a bow. Yeah, I think all of it was with a bow. Uh, and uh, now for number 1. And some of you who's been, who have been watching my videos for a while probably would have picked this one. By the way, look at how cool my two war dogs calls look up there on my new book shelf. I'll go to a close-up now. But um, those of you who've been watching the channel for a while probably uh, guessed it. It's one that has a lot of meaning for me. It's a hunt that has a lot of meaning for me. It's a special moment um, that I shared with 
my brother, my dad. Um, I probably gave it away if you didn't know about that this time. And uh, the only hint I can probably probably give you is if I camera now and show you this because this is my screensaver and this says a lot. Yeah, so <clears throat> number one of my top 10 hunts with the bow so far, if for, well ever because so far, um, is my dad's kudu hunt and it's once again at uh, the legendary Kransberg safaris and uh, my dad really put a number on this on this kudu, he shot him right through the heart, it was a 50 51 inch bull if I remember correctly and he butchered out 164 kilos so it was quite a big bull very majestic bull his shoulder mounts actually up in a house um, and everything and uh, we ate him he was delicious last year so yeah it was really a special special hunt with my dad and my brother Envia and Peter were there as well to put an experience on it but uh, yeah without further ado and uh, making you guys wait uh, enjoy the the number one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys after this for the outro. Okay guys, so that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, I enjoyed making it. I'm still, I haven't actually started editing it, but I'm gonna tell you I enjoyed making it. I've just started looking at the camera. I keep on looking at where I'm looking. Now I know how people feel with those rear facing cameras, um, screens on their cameras. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm busy setting, uh, eating cookies that Tariska made for me. She's in Mozambique at the moment. Um, so she made me these Christmas cookies because I'm only seeing it before just on Christmas and uh, I'll see you guys uh, on the next one whatever that might be I think it's going to probably be some fishing um, bass fishing we're not going to the ocean this uh, holiday um, so I'm going to do some bass fishing at uh, probably at Whitbank Dam hopefully some carp fishing barbell fishing I'll see I make a catch and cook some point um, I'm just glad to be back in a place where I can fish it's summer I can go outside again shoot my bow and uh, it's really excellent so yeah 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Please leave a like down below. As always, it really helps us out. And uh, I'll see you guys around for the next one. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I filmed this on my phone because that was the most inconspicuous way in Paris for filming without people staring at you. So let me know what you guys think of it. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.